All right, we got some breaking news. I'm just chopping up video. Shout out to One Pride Nation. Um, we're going to set this live up, so I'm going to let everybody know who I want to join uh, pretty soon. I just got to figure some things out as far as the time. But, uh, but yeah, man, uh, he sent me this uh, news, and I put the uh, screenshot on the screen. Logan had reported it, and then I think Lions Pride, uh, hopefully I'm saying it right, reported as well, too, is that CJ Moore, Hunter Bryan Brian didn't practice today. But today the big news was uh, – Big V didn't practice. I'm not even going to butcher his name. People could put, no, oh, Brian, to say their name. I'm not Brian Gumble. I'm not Marv Albert. I don't give a fuck. You know who I'm talking about. But, hey, let's talk about it. Hit the subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video, okay? So, uh, Big V not practicing today. And uh, One Pride Nation said that 95% of the people who don't practice on Thursday don't play in the game Sunday. <clears throat> and that percentage is even higher for Wednesday as well, too. Wink, wink. Robert Quinn didn't practice Wednesday yesterday for Chicago Bears. So, think you know i think wednesday or thursday might be one of the last practices hardcore practices then you have walk through probably friday or saturday more likely saturday so if big v don't play then you got a situation where we equipped to survive that with terrell cross you playing right tackle and also this may turn into a, a positive let's not talk about the negative first talk about the positive if crosby does well at right tackle and holds his own versus khalil mack and maybe uh robert quinn then maybe if Joe Dow or Jonah Jackson struggle, they can just put Big V at guard. And that's how I envisioned it before. Um, but, yeah, I mean, now you 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 pay this dude big money and now he got a foot injury. And when you're talking about, you know, big guys, you're talking about, you know, dudes that are 300 plus pounds with foot injuries. I mean, even going to centers in the NBA, it never turns out well, depending on what the injury is. It's a little bit different, too. A sneaker, a basketball sneaker is more easy. And I play both. Or more, it's, it's better on my foot. The football sneaker, depending on which one it is, and I can't remember the ones that uh, Sean Payton have his, his players wear when they went up to Lambeau, whatever field they was on, in the cold. Uh, I think they might have been steel toes or, you know, some, it, was a, it, was a, it was a certain cleat that hurt their feet, and he had masseuse in the locker room to rub their feet after the game. But cleats in general, especially you talking about new cleats, the motherfuckers hurt. <laughs> if, you got a, if you ain't got pain in your foot breaking in a new cleat, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have pain in your foot and a little bit of pain, it hurt. The cleats I used to wear, man, I got a wide, a wider foot. My cleat, my Adidas cleats that I used to love to wear, they were narrow as shit, man. And not to say if you're walking on a hard surface, woo, you got to break them jokers in. I would never break in a new pair of cleats on the game day. Never again. I got to wear them, get my foot in there, all that type of stuff, man. So cleats hurt, you know, until you break them in. And sometimes they still hurt, so... I can't imagine whatever his foot sprain or whatever his pain in his foot may be in them cleats. It probably on ten thousand dog. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, now you got a situation where your top free agent Big V, he ain't playing. Your top running back might be limited with a hip injury and DeAndre Swift. Your number one pick in Jeff Okuda, he ain't playing because you know the COVID. He couldn't get up to swing. Your third round pick Julian Okor, he on the injury list. He ain't starting. So. So they're going to be in a situation where, you know, Danny Mandola also injured as well, too, that, you know, we equipped to, to survive this. Terrell Crosby, he a dog. Um, he got unbelievable athleticism. I see him jump out of like a six-foot pool, you know, and, and land on the fucking concrete like Jonah Jackson. So, you know, it may be an upgrade from Terrell Crosby to Big V. Who knows? But you want to see somebody you pay big money for to anchor that line on the right side and open up run holes play. But um, he most likely won't play Saturday. I don't know when he hurt, hurt his foot. Did he step on the Lego at the crib? Did he... Hurt himself on the practice field. Who knows? But foot injuries, man, there's nothing to rush back from. You know what I'm saying? At all. So will he go on a temporary IR? Who knows? But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Big V, foot injury, probably going to be out Sunday. Didn't practice today. Check out our Detroit Lions news playlist for more videos like this. Lions talk playlist, one-on-one -on -one playlist for live streams. Don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you got business questions, inquiry, response, share video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel? Cash up CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate personally is to share the video and check out my backup channel, Mercy Sports Talk 2.0, just in case something happened over here. And also check out my main channel, Goodfellas Sports TV, right here on YouTube for more sports, music, news, entertainment. One time for the one time we go.